Greetings people, it's Jared here, Wolfgang1, back to do another video. Um, yeah, so I've been away for a little while, um, due to an administrative error with BT, because BT are a bunch of one of them, um, I have my internet cut off, which is fucking brilliant. But I'm back now, which is all lovely. Um, so I'm going to show off my not AA haul. Yes, because as you know, I didn't attend AA this year. I did buy a few things, though, in and around the, uh, the uh, weekend of the convention. Uh, so I'm going to show those off now. Um, I'll get uh, this thing out of the way first. I bought this today. I bought this today. Um, well, oh, fucking hell. It's not going to be worth it, but there we are. Um, it's only one ninety nine. I dare say any subsequent issues of this are going to be about 10 quid, but fuck it. I bought the uh, this, which is uh, get a detailed die-cast model of a starship with a magazine thing from Star Trek. Um, so I thought, fair enough, I might start collecting those as well because, you know, I'm a collector, I'm, I'm a freak uh, for anything sci-fi related. So, uh, yeah, there's that. I'm going to open that up soon and put that on my shelf. It'll be lovely. I want to extend a massive thank you here to my girlfriend's parents who, for a laugh, for a joke, um, decided to buy me this. Uh, the Doctor Who Build Your Own TARDIS model kit. Um, <laughs> I didn't realise how big this thing was going to be. I, I've, I've started building some of the floor and it looks like it's going to be quite big. Um, just to give you an idea, um, I've also got the main TARDIS control thing built. Um, so when this is eventually done, I might show this off. Um, it's all made out of cardboard, like thick paper, uh, thin cardboard stuff doesn't hold together particularly well and frankly looks a little bit shit but um, I like it I really do like it I even stood my generation 1 red alert next to the uh, console so you know there's a certain scale thing to be used there I might use it as a diorama I'm not sure uh, but so yeah I've got the uh, TARDIS control room model kit that took me to get this took me the last two episodes of the Christopher Eccleston series and the entire first series of David Tennant just to build this fucking console. Um, so yeah, there's that. Lovely. I want to extend a massive thank you at this point to Toys R Us for, um, and Hasbro for fucking me over. Um, I, my Toys R Us in Old Kent Road never had anything, anything in it, anything of consequence or no. And I popped in there on a whim and they had all this Stuff and it was like, oh fuck, isn't that exciting? Well, I ended up buying for 25 quid for two figures um, Generations Orion packs, just there, and um, Generations Megatron. Um, out of the two of them, I would say this one is the more shit, um, but they're both kind of shit for what they are. Um, the joints on Orion packs are, sh uh, are shockingly bad. Um, yeah, so £25 for these two abominations. I will do reviews on those at some point if I feel like having a good run. Um, so I put it into contrast Orion packs and Megatron, £25 for the two figures. And then I went ahead and bought this for 36 quid. Complete, hardly a scratch on it. One of the stickers is peeling away, just one of the stickers. Um, and it's not easy to get hold of complete. Um, I picked up for 36 quid Generation 1 needle nose. Um, if I just turn him round, he's in really, really, really good condition. I'm fucking astounded. Normally he's always missing the towel fin or a weapon or anything like that. And he was the last second uh, generation Target Master I need for that collection. All I need now is um, the Target Master Cyclobus. And uh, yeah. So, what would I rather do? Would I rather spend £25 on two modern day shit figures, or would I rather spend 36 quid on some vintage shit? Um, I'm going to go for the vintage shit, quite frankly, so I'm very, very happy I've got that. Very happy indeed. And the only other thing I've got to show you, is that it's only a small collection, um, the only other thing I bought was from eBay, and it cost 44 quid. And I bought the uh, TWTO1 grind rod which is the third party reimagining of the throttlebot roll bar uh, to go alongside aurora that i've got who was the reimagining of searchlight and 
I'm, I, I like this little fella. I like him a lot. Um, I'm thinking of getting all of these guys. I, I don't care about the supposed combining gimmick. That has absolutely no interest in me whatsoever because I'm not buying them for a combine mode that they never had originally. Um, I'm buying them for the individual bots and the individual bots so far have been very encouraging. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of starting off a little third party shelf. But in order to do that I need to buy another Classics Magnus. So I've got the um, City Commander set. Yeah, I've got, I've got the name right for once. Because uh, I've got the Classics Magnus, but like the, uh, the United Magnus. Um, so I need another one so I can have like two different versions of him. But anyway, I mean, I'm, I'm rambling now. Um, so yeah, I picked up Grimod for 44 quid and I, I like him a lot. What's coming soon? We have um, Masterpiece Prowl that's due towards, I think it's early to mid-October, something like that. So um, I've got an order in for him. Um, does anybody know actually on the Masterpiece front? A Prowl, Blue Streak and Smokescreen all supposed to be coming out for the end of this year. If someone could let me know that would be very very handy because I still need to try and pick up a Masterpiece Soundwave from somewhere at some point, somehow. Um, that is my haul, that is my not AA haul. Um, speaking of AA, I heard everybody had an absolutely wonderful time. Um, I'm really, I'm so unimaginably fucking gutted. So unimaginably gutted that I couldn't be there. Um, Next year, however, um, I will. I will be there. It's, it's the 30th anniversary of the brand, you know, you've got to put in an appearance, at least. Um, on that note, there is something that might be in the pipeline for me. Um, I, I can't really discuss anything at the moment because nothing's set in stone. But if, um, if this pays off for me, this will be possibly the single most incredible thing that ever happens to me. If I get more details sometime in the next month, I'll, I'll, I'll share them with you. But I've got something in the pipeline that, that could be rather, rather fucking wonderful for me. Um, there are a select few in the world who know what this is. But I can't say any more than that. Um, what else can I talk about? Uh, bad stuff. I have a gig. I have a gig on Saturday, which I can't fucking wait for. Um, it's only going to be three of us. My, my guitarist is about to drop out for childcare issues. But um, we've got a pretty good uh, guest list from the sound of it. We've got a very strong set list. I've got to try and put across it with three members instead of four, which, yeah. And we're going to be doing something new. We're going to be doing something very, very brand new that's only a couple of weeks old, uh, that no one's ever heard before except us. And I've got to try and remember all the lyrics. The lyrics are very, very fiddly for this one. Um, but it's got a very good sound to it. My band are very encouraged by it, and we're looking forward to recording it in the future. Um, Speaking of recording, we finish, I've uh, probably told you this already, we finish our album on Monday the 14th of October. And if we've got enough time, which we should have, we're going to um, try and record and master Strange Playground, the video, uh, the, the song that I put up uh, previously to this one. Uh, that George had listened to, he, he was very, very happy with it, so I'm, I'm pleased it, it got the uh, desired effect there. Um, so yeah, we're, we're hoping to, because um, that's going to go on our next album in the future, but I'm also going to... Uh, offer it as like a free download or um, or submit it for uh, George's book which will be coming out soon I'm really really looking forward to it, it's coming out soon so everybody keep your eyes peeled on Dark Moon Digest for the release of Strange Playground by George Lay, otherwise known as Exaggerated Energy uh, so what else to talk about uh, I was going to um, sit here with a guitar and try and do that song uh, the new song, it's called uh, Come Alive and it's got a bit of a, um, it's got of a sort of 90s rock feel, a hint of Creed or something else in it. Um, but I'm not entirely confident of it right now. I'm, I've got to play it a few times. Uh, other than that, there's not really a lot to tell you. Um, I am still working on the format for Miserable Corner, or I'm thinking of calling it Cuntitude Corner. I'm not entirely sure yet. I don't know whether it should just be me picking a subject at random and ranting about it, or whether it should be broken up into like segments. So one part of an episode will be um, things that I, uh, something that I hate for that week, um, or a situation that I hate, or, or something like that. And um, maybe guest cunt of the week will be somebody in the media or the news. I mean, I know that's possibly um, libelous or uh, defamation of character or something like that. But quite frankly, most of the people that you hear about in the media these days are cunts, um, and quite frankly deserve it. So I'm, I'm working on whether or not I should have a, and this week's cunt of the week is, you know, whoever. 
So I'm, I'm sort of working on the format for that, so that should be with a uh, miserable corner or possibly a counter corner, depending on how I want to do it. Um, it should be on this channel in the next couple of weeks, so look out for that one, because that's going to be fucking vitriolic and um, quite awful, I, sh I should think. Quite, quite, quite bad. Um, yeah, so I haven't got anything else to say. I'm just now rambling in front of a camera. It's been lovely talking to you again. I'm glad I've got my internet back on, and I shall see you all at some point soon. Until we meet each other again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Gerard Galvin Barry, also known as Wolf King One, saying, Take care.